Let's learn how to play Zangle. Zangle is a perfect game for one to six players and can be played in 45 minutes. What's a Zangle? A Zangle is when two or more cards come together and form the shape on another card. So these four cards make a Zangle. There are so many ways to make a Zangle, but here are some things to keep in mind. You can twist, spin, or flip your cards to find the best Zangle. A zangle must include a card from both the center cards and your cards. Two things are not allowed. Rearranging triangles on the cards and using other players' cards. There are three ways to play. Let's take a look at turnstile. Get rid of your cards before your opponents by making zangles. Deal out 10 cards to each player. No peeking. Players flip over the top four cards of their pile, then flip over the top four from the center. Dealer goes first and makes a zangle. Replenish the center cards up to four from the center draw pile, then replenish your cards from your pile. If you cannot make a zangle, then you must take a hit. A hit is when you take the top card off the center draw pile, then add it face up to your cards. You then have one more chance to make a zangle. If you cannot make a zangle, your turn ends and play continues to the next player. The round ends once a player runs out of cards and everyone has an equal number of turns. At the end of each round, count your remaining cards. Each card is worth one point. At the end of the third round, the player with the lowest score wins. Now let's take a look at Speedster. The goal, deal, and scoring are the same as turnstile, but with a slight variation to the deal. Speedster is a faster paced game that starts when all players flip over the center cards at the same time. There are no turns. Race to spot a zangle and call out zangle. Then quickly remove your zangle from the table. At any time, you could choose to take a hit. If you say zangle and cannot make a zangle, then you must take a penalty card and add it face down to your draw pile. The first player to run out of cards must prove their zangles. If all prove correct, they win and receive zero points. If the player is wrong, they get five points and everyone else gets zero no matter how many cards they had. The winner is awarded an equalizer. Equalizers provide an even playing field and an additional challenge to strong players. Level one. Only play with your non-dominant hand. That player must play with this equalizer the rest of the game. If that same player wins another round, they would move on to the next level of equalizer. Level two. Level one plus cover one eye. You can use the equalizer levels in the instructions or create your own. For the solitaire version, deal a pile of 10 cards, then deal out your cards like this. Set the rest of the cards aside for they will not be used. Flip over the top three cards from the center pile. Use both the center cards and your cards to make your zangles. If you are able to use all of your cards before the center cards run out, you win. Now you're ready to play Zangle. Try all of our other games invented by Marsha Falco. If you love one, you'll love them all.